gets them the 20 to 16 lead here in the fourth quarter. Our Aggie coverage brought to you in part by Edwards Furniture. Nobody cares like Edwards in two locations and Columbus Travel. Call them for your Aggie discounts to Hawaii and Mexico packages. Here is a play for the Aggie offense to try to cinch the game here. Can they get five yards without being too fancy and trying to give up the ball? And San Jose's got everybody in the box. They hand off to Spate. Spate tracks it, does not get the first down. He's got to the 33. They'll use their last timeout with two minutes to play. We'll take the break. 20 to 16, Utah State over San Jose, and we'll be right back. This is the Utah State Aggie Network. Timeout, San Jose State. Please put 201 on the clock. 17-yard line. They came after it. They went after it hard. Leon Jackson dances off the field with 148 left to go. San Jose, actually 149. San Jose will have to go 83 yards. They have to score a touchdown, and they've used all of their timeouts. So their offense will have to do it without having a timeout here. Utah State wants to keep them away from the sidelines, keep them in front of them, and not let them get a lot of big plays. You can't let them have a chance to throw it easily to the end zone. They spread out their team to the five wideouts here. Craig Hislop's headed downstairs for our post game. We hope it'll be a good one. And right now it is. Three down linemen. Here's Trafalis back to throw. Gets pressured up the middle, throws it underneath. It's caught by Flynn. Flynn breaks the tackle, and he's got a first down for San Jose that will stop the clock. Up to the 33-yard line. He got 16 yards running between all the Aggies there. And that's the first catch of the night for Kyle Flynn, the junior college transfer. Now they get to the line. The clock now will start again with a minute and 40. There it goes. Trafalis back. Aggie defense has got to make the stand here again. Snap it back, Trafalis. He's looking left. He gets pressured. He slips one tackle of Calderwood. He throws it over the middle. It's incomplete. He throws it for French on the run, and it was thrown over his head. Clock will stop with 127. Utah State leading it by four, 20 to 16. Ball will be at the 34 yard line. So they actually gave him 17, I guess, on that pass completion. Okay, Aggies got pressure from Calderwood there. Couldn't put him down on the sack, but he got him at least flushed out of the pocket and on the run, Trafalis threw it high. He is 20, 40, 32 out of 44 on the night for 360 yards. He's in the shotgun again. Gets the snap back. Looking left. Loop around the Aggies. Throw wide open. The pass to the 50 of the Aggies and Beecham and will run out of bounds at the Aggie 43. He was wide open and now San Jose with a minute and 20 to go only needs 42 more yards where they finally marked the ball. He was so open it's unbelievable. That was a about a 20 yard pass play that gets them down to the 42 of USU. That's 24 yards to Beachman right there. Okay, shotgun for Trafalis again at the 42 of the Aggies. Now the Aggies have got to put out some kind of pressure on him and not let him just stand back there. He gets the snap back, throws it underneath. Caught again by Flynn, and again he slices between the Aggies to get a first down, stumble down to the 31. And now they'll stop the clock to move the chains. So San Jose moves closer. They need a touchdown to win the game, and they're at the 31 of the Aggies with another 11-yard pass play to Flynn, an underneath throw. They have now thrown one incompletion and three completions, and still 110 left to go. Okay, they're 31 yards away. Aggies have got to play great D here. Trafalis gets the snap back, looking left. Now he looks over the middle, throw incomplete. 
tried to get it to Flynn underneath, and uh, it was Davon Hall once again who was in on the play for the Aggies. Now exactly a minute to go. San Jose has a second down and 10 coming up. Exactly a minute. Incompletions keep, or San Jose's friend right now to keep that clock stopped, especially when they still have three more downs. They're 31 and a half yards away. Utah State by four, trying to win their homecoming game. Trafalis has three to the right, two to the left. Trafalis waits for the snap here. Gets it. Aggies put a little more pressure on him. He heaves it over the left side, and it is caught, and a touchdown for San Jose. It's caught by Richmond. He beat Keyshawn Murphy with 53 seconds to go, and San Jose leads the game by 22 to 20. With 53 seconds, it was one-on-one, -on -one, and the big guy Richmond outdid Keyshawn Murphy for it. With 53 seconds left to go. And you just felt it was just too easy for San Jose to get down there with their heaves. And now they will try just a one point point after here to make it a field goal for Utah State to tie it. Now the Aggies have two timeouts, 53 seconds. It's Drew back to try the point after here. 22 20 now. San Jose scores with 53 seconds. Number 73. On the offense coming on the field. That's a 15 yard penalty which will be penalized on the kickoff. They're going to penalize them on the kickoff, so that will put the kickoff back 15 yards. They'll be kicking from the 15 yard line, which will give Utah State some chance for field position. Some guy came on the field for San Jose to celebrate, and that was an unsportsmanlike conduct call. So Utah State will have 53 seconds, could get some good field position here, but the Aggie defense gives it up. The point after touchdown is good, and it's 23 San Jose, 20 for Utah State. And this crowd, a minute and 40, uh, what, about a minute and six seconds ago was going nuts after Leon Jackson's punt put them back to the 17-yard line, and they score in six plays. And the Aggie defense had not given up a point in the second half, and now they have. Well, they'll have two timeouts to try to get Pete Caldwell into position. Kevin Robinson's clapping his hands over there. He can't wait for his chance to get a kickoff from the 15-yard line. Oh, boy. So they will mark off this penalty from the 30. That was, a, like we said, six play and 83-yard drive. 31 yards to Richmond for the touchdown, his second of the night. He's had 10 catches for 180 yards. Trafalis has thrown for 426 yards on 35 out of 48. Utah State thought they might see a basic team come into here. It hasn't been a basic team. It has been a team that's been able to run enough, but boy, they have thrown the ball on the Aggies. And the Aggies have given up all kinds of yardage, 534 yards in this game, to think that they're only down 23-20. Okay, they kick it off from the 15-yard line, and again, the wind is kind of whipping out of the south end. Should give Utah State a chance, a great field position with Robinson and Lesway. Both have had kickoff returns of 50 yards or more tonight in this game. Robinson 82 for a touchdown, and Lesway had a 50-yarder. So there's still time for the Aggies with two timeouts, and this field position could really change here in a hurry. Okay, Strubeck to kick it off. He nails it, but it's straight up in the air. All right, it's going to be nobody picked it up. San Jose recovers the ball. The Aggies didn't let anybody. Why didn't you catch the ball? Utah State did not catch it. San Jose did, and they're going to win the game. French, I think, came up with the ball. When you kick it straight up in the air, somebody's got to catch it. Will Fausel and another Aggie just looked at it, and it dropped on the ground, and nobody for Utah State picked it up. San Jose recovers the ball, and that was the mistake of all time mistakes. Even if you fair catch that high one, you got it at the 50-yard line. Unbelievable special teams mistake by Utah State. The Aggies have to, I mean, it's unbelievable that they let that one just drop. And you could see it coming because nobody wanted to catch it when it was straight up at them. They're all waiting for Lesway and Robinson to come up and get it. They're not going to get it 30 yards up the field. Now Utah State's going to have to use a timeout as Trafalis takes the knee. The Aggies quickly use the timeout with 48 seconds, but still they can only stop.